Jeff, we know Kyrie can score. He looked ready to win the scoring title the other night in Philly with 21 and 25 minutes. But in Brad Stevens' system, with this supporting cast, how much of a leap do you expect from Kyrie Irving this season in terms of his all-around game? Well, I think he's been more than just a scorer before he came to Boston. I thought in Cleveland his game developed over time. I thought he defended better. Uh, I think, obviously, his greatest strength is scoring, but he's a very adept playmaker. And so I think I'm not sure he's going to put up, you know, 26, 27, or like Isaiah Thomas did last year in the high 20s because he has better teammates like Gordon Hayward to share the ball and share the burden with of scoring the ball. So he might play better and score less than he did last year. Yeah, do a lot of things well that only the Jeff Van Gundy's of the world really see and appreciate. So Isaiah Thomas, you mentioned him, he told SI that he may not ever talk to Danny Ainge again, given that he traded him after all he gave the Celtics. He also said maybe he shouldn't have tried to play in the playoffs through the hip injury. And he said the trade still doesn't make any sense. I'm still asking what the hell happened. It's a trade you make in NBA 2K. It's not a trade you make in real life. And here's Ainge's response. You know, that's the hard part of the job. I mean, it's that's the, you know, I know that there's a lot of feelings that go on when, when these type of things happen. I was a player that was traded twice. So I understand um, his sentiments. But, you know, you guys know how much I love Isaiah. He's a great kid. And, I wish him the best. Have you got a chance to talk to him besides beyond that first day? No. Is that something where you'll, you'll try to mend things later on once some time has passed? Or? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, I would, tr I would try to, but I, I have no idea. You know, that takes two people. And obviously he said some things today that very has some very strong feelings and strong emotions, and, and I understand those. Jeff, the reason IT is saying that the Celtics will come to regret this trade is because you can't tell Isaiah Thomas that he's not the best player in this trade. That's his level of belief in his, himself. And it can be a brutal business, as you know, but do you understand IT's beef? Well, I think if he had a different mentality at five foot nine, he wouldn't have been in the league, exactly. let alone be as great as he is. So I understand that, but I also know Isaiah Thomas is a very smart guy, and he knows he's going to be out for some time, and Kyrie Irving has an extra year on his contract. So I think he does understand it. I just don't think he agrees with it. I think he wanted to remain in Boston. He wanted his big payday to be in Boston. So I think I love his attitude, but I know he understands right. why the trade was made. And if you're Danny Ainge, you have nothing to apologize for. Right. You can't fall in love with your players to the point where you don't do what's best for your team. All right, and I think that's where Isaiah Thomas is coming from. He's saying the team did what was best for it in trading me. Maybe I should have done what was best for me and protected my health given I want a max contract instead of laying it all on the line in the playoffs. Now, LeBron, he didn't look great and doesn't feel great either after last night's game against the Bulls, Jeff. Reaggravated their left ankle injury. Meanwhile, new starting center Kevin Love, he went one for 12. Now, Jeff, in case you missed it, here's how Love found out that he was going to the five. Kind of a funny thing happened the third day of practice. Uh, I had asked about a, a certain play on, on, the, on the defensive end and whether it was uh, the different coverages on the four or the five man. And Bron kind of stopped me. He goes, you know, you, you know you're going to be starting at the five, right? So I kind of looked at him and uh, didn't really fully understand that that was going to be the case. Not that I would have trained or or done anything different. I just would have started to wrap my head around it more. So that's when I kind of knew that, um, you know, that was coming into play. And, and um, you know, I slowly and, and surely started to pick it up. So Jeff, still a work in progress for Love at the five. But I want to ask you about Tristan Thompson and J.R. Smith coming off the bench because J.R. says that he's absolutely frustrated about it. But he does like playing with the second team uh, because it allows him to be, you know, a little bit more of a playmaker. But all that said, is this a, a, a potentially a source of conflict or is this what you want to hear from a competitor? It'll all be dependent on how, the, how much they win and how well it works and how much success each guy has. Listen, Dwayne Wade is a all-time great two-guard. And then J.R. Smith, for all of what everyone wants to concentrate about with him, he did a great thing for Cleveland. He plays exceptionally hard defensively, and he gives them that floor spacing that James and Irving needed. So 
absolutely with all their team success that he's now has to be the one to come off the bench I think is an interesting uh, decision that they had to work through and then uh, with Tristan Thompson I'm still a little puzzled that they decided to bring him off the bench but I think they also know his personality is such a giving personality that he wasn't going to make a fuss it'll be interesting to see they're going to be a dynamic offensive team in the front court with their shooting and skill. Defensively, to start games, I'm very interested to see how they're able to guard the basket. All right, let's go six degrees of separation here, Jeff. Andrew Wiggins agreed to his five-year, $146.5 million extension. He's got his money. But, Jeff, what does Wiggins need to do to help Carl Anthony Towns and Jimmy Butler get this team to the playoffs? Well, it's really Carl Anthony Towns and Wiggins together have to commit to defense. They're extremely talented athletes and exceptional offensive talents that can score and they put up huge numbers, but have yet to drive success when it comes to winning. I think the Timberwolves had a terrific offseason, added Butler, Jeff Teague, I think are huge upgrades, and I think they're going to make the playoffs. But to be players of significance in this league, you have to be a two-way player. You have to be willing uh, and able to guard and guard on a consistent basis. Wiggins and Towns have yet to show that dedication and commitment to defense. If they do, they're going to be great players, and Minnesota will morph into a great team. Yeah, Wiggins especially was supposed to be a premier perimeter defender coming out of Kansas.